Hello everybody, this is Stringham back to kick off the quarterfinal round. And we are almost, we are at the stage of the tournament where the contestants can dare to dream. <laughs> As I'm starting to. But anyway, let's have a look at our quarterfinal matchups for this session. So, up first we are going to see Silver Knights going up against our tournament host, Stranger Gamer. Then, we will see the champ, Mastrician, going up against the giant killer, El Igozzi. And we'll move on down here, where we'll see two newcomers eyeing up a place in the semi-final in Kaz and Verga. And to conclude the quarter-final round, we are going to have Team Aloe going up against Black Beauty. So, without further ado, let's get on with our first matchup, shall we? Which is my match! Okie dokie, in the red corner, for Silver Knights, we have got Utahraptor. Silver Knights enjoying a good tournament so far. The furthest, um, this is the furthest they've ever progressed progressed and can they can they make the semi-finals right in the blue corner for our tournament host stranger gamer we got Sinteosaurus and well after an unconvincing group stage our hosts have really stepped up in the knockout round two impressive victories under their belt showing the form they showed at the start of this tournament with those two wins <laughs> I know, this is go it's going well all of a sudden. It's crazy. It's a knockout match, man. It's a whole new tournament. And, well, this is an interesting field because both our guys will get terrain advantage. Okay, that's a good start. That's what, that's what we want. Get that defense boost going as well. Elemental power coming in. Good start from the hosts. And the good thing is, is that this Utahraptor doesn't have anything that can one-shot me. Oh, that's another hit from Sinteosaurus. I mean, I've typed his advantage here, so if the Utahraptor hits me, it's going to hurt. But getting elemental power maxed up and defense and a defense burst is very nice so far. Good start from the hosts. Okay, that's a tie. Three, three. Okay, that's another tie. Silver Knight's yet to get a hit here. Not really taking advantage of the type advantage. Oh, that's a crit. That's better from Silver Knights. Get some elemental power going as well. Good shot from Silver Knights. That does trigger the Mayfly as well. But is Sinteosaurus landing the next shot? This has been another good start from the host so far. Right, well, I think we're about to be even because coming in next for Silver Knights, we've got Penticeratops. It's got terrain advantage. It's going to get that next hit, which is going to be a scissors hit. So we'll get an elemental power going as well, which will definitely help. Right, first things first, let's get terrain advantage over with. Let's see if this is lethal. I think since it, yeah, yeah, definitely. The defense burst really helping there. Okay, it's a six. And that's a five, so Sinteosaurus going down. Okay, but it did do its work, so I don't mind. <laughs> anyway, I, it feared better than I thought it would, given it was up against a Utahraptor. So, I'll, I'll take this scenario. Even Stevens, he's used his terrain hit already. I'll take this. Right, coming in next for our host, we got the Mega Raptor. The MVP of this team, the star boy of Team Stranger. Will it deliver again? Now, the good thing is, even though he's got elemental power, I only got one super move. What I'm more worried about is if is when he hits me. Ooh, but is Mega Raptor striking first? Go on, Meg, you can do it. Waste this Pentaceratops. Let's get this guy. Okay, so one. Oh, that's a crit. That's exactly what you want if you're the host. Massive hit from Mega Raptor. Look at that. And two tie bombs. God, let's have a tie. Let's have a tie. Oh, okay. Pentaceratops does get a hit on the board. It's going to be a good hit, though. That elemental power buff definitely helping out. Okay, so six. Oh, okay, Pentaceratops getting some hits. This is a good strike back from Silver Knights. 
back and forth so far for these two. And that's a tie, and that's exactly what Stranger wants. Because the tie bombs go off, the Pentaceratops goes down. And I have a slight lead going into Spiny Tactic. Now, here's the thing that worries me the most. Coming in third for Silver Knights, it is Spiny Tector. This thing is a massive threat. Like, it, it is the biggest threat in this team. A Dino Tector, it could, this thing could just sweep. But like, Kaijon Cooper found out the hard way. This thing is a beast. And has practically single-handedly won matches for Silver Knights in this tournament. Can it win another one for it? Remember, the quarterfinals is where the hosts fell last year. There's a two. Hit the, hit the button on seven because he's got the seven types of alpha dice. Okay. Okay, that's a three. I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> oh, it didn't kill it. The Mega Raptor survives. The Shockwave activates. Actually, I think this is good for Silver Knights because... It guarantees him a hit, which means that the Dino Tector bar will fill up faster. Okay, well you can't go six. We can't go six. Yeah, we just got to take the hit like a champ. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's better, a better scenario for Silver Knights because again they get two hits instead of the one, so they fill up the, the Dino Tector bar twice as fast. And they may need Dino Tactic, because coming in third for our hosts, we have got the Arhinoceratops. He's got terrain advantage. He's going to get the next hit. Like, this Arhinoceratops, I put this Arhinoceratops in this team for this reason. To deal with water types like that Spiny. This is the whole reason why he's in my team. But can he deliver? So yeah, first things first, get the terrain hit out of the way. Attack boost going to activate. And again, if he gets some shockwaves off, I will be in trouble because that will be that will be two f bits of energy on the Dino Tector bar. Okay, that's a five. Oh, he does get the next hit. Is another Alpha Dice Silver Knight? Really going for that Alpha Dice? Oh, bless him! It's a one. <laughs> that's not ideal, and no shockwave either, which is even worse. Well, that is the risk of using Alpha Dice, unfortunately. Oh, and that's another shot from a Rhinoceros. Go on, Rhinoceros. You could do it, buddy. You could do it. The attack boost is going to max up Stranger Gamer one hit away from the semis. Is this the end of Silver Knights? Okay, go. Okay, that's a, that's a two. Let's go for Alpha Dice again. And this time he doesn't get it. It's the hosts that get the hit, and Stranger Gamer will go through to the semi-finals at the expense of Silver Knights. And a Rhinoceratops does it again. <laughs> that was a crazy match. You know, I think, let's be honest, even if he got the six on the uh, Alpha Dice, he still wouldn't have won. But yeah, that was a really close match. If he had got a Shockwave off, maybe things would have been different, but you know, fine margins. Right, on to our next match now. Okie dokie, in the red corner for our champ Mastrician, we have got Omega Eocarcaria. Well, Mastrician dispatched Dexin in the last 16 round to get here. And I'll be looking to do the same against El Igozi to get to the semis. Uh, no grass types in this matchup, so no terrain advantages. Right, in the blue corner for El Igozi, we have got Terry and well. Gozzi has been the under underdog in all the knockout matches so far and have managed to win. And they're definitely the underdog here. Can they pull off an upset? Well, another upset. The upset of upsets. Like, honestly, if they pull this off, I might just declare them the winner because they freaking earned it. They had to get past Drogon, who won someone else's tournament who's won a tournament before, not mine, but someone else's. They've had to get past Dino Smash, who's looked imperious in this tournament, and I think they've won a tournament before. I can't remember. And now, they got to play Maastrician, who won last year, who won my tournament last year. Crazy, isn't it? And if they get through here, they'll end up playing either Team Aloe or Black Beauty, and I think... Well, I know Black Beauty won a tournament recently. I'm not sure about Team Aloe. But anyway, enough about that. 
That's a good start from Maastrician, though. John Gozzi know that, he, that he's not going to have his way again. And that is going to end any hopes of a death fire for Gozzi in this match. And that's going to end Terry. What a, another quick start from Maastrician. Um, okay, coming in next for LP Gozzi, we've got Su Super Salatosaurus, Awaken Mode on 4. Not been an ideal start for Gozzi so far. Can they rally back with the Serato? Oh, I'm sorry, I got I got my fan on in the background, it's like 50 degrees in here. <laughs> it's, it's a very hot day. Okay, there's a shot. I think that's their first hit of the match. Attack boost's going to activate as well. What Gozzi has to be wary of is that Omega bar at the bottom because it is close to being filled. And if that gets filled, it'll be a long way back for Gozzi if Maastrician gets a hit. But this is better. Getting some hits on the board. Twice. Oh, but Maastrician responds. A light recovery, a tappy jar, a dive to come. Just when it looked like Gozzi was getting momentum back in this match. There comes a hit from Yokakiri. There's two. Okay, but there's another hit from Gozzi. Getting a light recovery roll, but the tag team is going to come into effect here. So that Yokakiri is not going to get hit. And it is awakening time for the Serapasaurus. So this could be a big moment in the match. An awakened hit here downs the Eocarcaria. But if Eocarcaria gets a tie or a hit, we could see Omega Arm. Big moment in the match this could be. And it's Gozzi that gets the hit. Eocarcaria is going to go down. And Gozzi survives. That could be a massive hit in this match. Because if Maastrician gets a hit here. With the Omega Armour to come, he could be 2-0. He could even, could even have won 3 now. But now, Gozzi's pulled him out. Gozzi's pulled himself back in the match. Right, coming in next for Maastrician, we've got the Blitz-type Spinosaurus. So you know the deal. It's going to go for those two Blitz crits. And we'll see if Maastrician has uh, any fortune getting them. Right, crit number one. Oh, he gets that one. No, he doesn't. The Dino stuff is going to come in. Put a stop to that crit. Right, crit number two. Oh, and Gozzi gets the hit here. Gozzi coming back into this a bit. Right, that's six. And that's a three, so that's a tie. Four and a two. Another hit from Gozzi. This Ceratosaurus is really putting a shift in, and look at this. Gozzi rallying back in this match against Maastrichter. Okay, but Maastrician does get the next hit in the match. I think that is not going to be it for Ceratosaurus. Oh, of course it's going to be it for Ceratosaurus, because it's an Aqua Javelin. <laughs> um, okay, coming in third for El Igozi, we've got a Ferrazinosaurus. A Super Ferrazinosaurus. Well, Gozzi has done well to rally back in this match, but Maastrician still holds the lead. That Dino Stuffer, that awakened hit, two big moments here for Gozzi, can they make them count? There's a three... Okay, there's a crit, that Spinosaurus dead and buried. And both our guys down to their last dinos. Right then, coming in food for Maastrician, we've got Tarkia. Well, when the, when the Tarkia has had to step up, it's certainly stepped up. Even though we haven't seen as much of it as we, ha as, uh, we have seen the Spino and the Eocar. Two. 
two, so one, that's not good. Maastrician gets the first hit. Oh wow, that was a pretty good hit actually, with the dive as well. Really good shot from Maastrician. This target, even though it doesn't have a hard hit and crit, all his moves do hit pretty hard. I think it is attack type as well. But Gozzi gets that hit on the ball, I don't think we're going to see some awaken action today. Oh, that's another hit. Is that going to be lethal for Mas Gozzi? Yes, it is. The dive is going to make sure of it. It's Maastrician marching on to the semi-finals again. And El Gozzi probably ran out of gas in the end. And Maastrician just proving a bit too much. But yeah, really good effort, though. Definitely. And Gozzi bows out at the quarters. Okie dokie. On to our third match of this session now. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Cats, we have got a Joe Boria. Well, we all know how impressive this Joe Boria has been in this tournament for Kaz, and this is a good field for Kaz because they will get terrain advantage courtesy of the Alpha Kazmosaurus. And they're gonna need it, I feel. Right, in the blue corner for Virgo, we got Torvasaurus. Varga, well, what a run they're on at the minute. Six wins in a row. Can they make it seven? And book a place in the semi-final in... as well. Well, they'll have type disadvantage initially against this Jorborea, which will be a problem, but that Armatus alpha Kaznosaurus matchup in third, I feel like, is the key one. Mainly because it's in third. <laughs> okay, there's a hit from jo the Torvasaurus, but yeah, look at that. Very little damage done. Technique boost is going to help, though. Get some Volk Bursts, Heat Eruptions going. Okay, that's a tie. No Heat Eruption, though. And Joe Boria gets that next hit, but look at the difference. Oh, wow, look at that for a difference. Massive hit from Joe Boria. That's a tie. Oh, what have we got here? It's a Heat Eruption. Now, this Joe Boria does have Ocean Panic as well, but Torvasaurus has way more technique, so we should see Heat Eruption over Ocean Panic any day of the week. But you never know with this game. But that's a good Heat Eruption from Varga. Okay, that's a five. Okay, that's another tie. This is good from Varga. Oh, well, uh, it was good until the Jobaria got the Hydro Cutter off and killed the Torvasaurus and taken the lead. <laughs> That's just how quickly the match can turn, especially when you've got type advantage. Well, just like that, Kaz in front. Right, coming in next with Varga. We got Jobaria. Gonna fight Job with Job. Although this Jobaria doesn't hit as hard because it's got diamond stuff instead of the Hydro Cutter. And I suspect if you're Varga, you probably expected this scenario of being behind early. But like I said, I think the key matchup will be Chasmosaurus against the Armatus. Oh, that's another crit, but Dino Stuffer is going to come in. It's going to put a stop to that crit. That could be crucial going forward. Stopping Kaz, extending their lead. And yeah, it is crucial because this hit is going to damage Jovoria. And after everything said and done, we are level pecking. Right then, coming in next for Kaz, we have got Ferrazinosaurus. Um, it struggled to impose itself really on on MEJP10, even though Kaz won that match. Can it make an impact here? Oh, that's a crit. That's a good shot from Kaz. The elemental power is going to activate. That's definitely going to help. Well, unless Varga hits with a crit. <laughs> and that's another crit. Kaz regaining their lead in this match. And I think it's crucial for them to take a lead into Armatus. Ooh. 
Ooh, oh wow, it's all about the crit so far. Varga getting his crit on the board. Okay, that's a tie. And that's a claw blade, and that's going to be curtains for Joe Boria. Slash. And Kaz retaining their lead in this match. But coming in third for Virga, we have got the Armatas, the big threat of their team. Now, Kaz has the scenario they want, though. A chance to get some hits on this Armatas with the Ferry which I think is going to be key for them if they want this win. Because if it is a straight shot between Armatus and Chasmosaurus, then Armatus is going to be a strong favourite to win. And if you're Varga, get hits on the board to stop this fairy from getting hits. Okay, that's a tie. Oh, that's not good for Varga, that's a crit! Is the winning streak going to come to an end? A claw blade from the fairy. And a look at the damage. Massive hit from the fairy. Is this the end for Varga? Okay, it's a tie. But things are looking bleak for Varga. They just cannot get a hit at the minute. Okay, there we go. There's a hit. But again, the fairy is buffed up with elemental power. It's got his secret move triggered. Look at the little damage done. And, oh, that's a tie. I will say, if Varga can survive the spectral armor. Ooh, hang on a minute. This could throw the cat amongst the pigeons. Oh, maybe not. It is spectral armor time, but unfortunately for Varga, it's going to be wasted on the fairy, even if he gets the hit. Well, okay, it is spectral armor time, but again. A tie will finish off Armatus, so... He can't use ties to get rid of the fairy. He has to just hit it. And he does get the hit. It's a spectral stinger. Ferrazinosaurus going down. But I feel like this hit is wasted. And again, if you're Kaz, you're still in a very strong position to win this match. A tie will do it. The odds are right. Oh, actually, no. Hang on a minute. I just realized. That's it. Kaz has won. I just, just twigged. The terrain advantage. The Chasmosaurus gets terrain advantage, so Kaz is going to get the next hit no matter what. So it is game over for Varga, and it is Kaz going through to the semi-finals to take on the tournament hosts. So hang on. I, it, it, it just dawned on me. And yet, there it is. The end of Varga in this tournament. The winning streak ends at 6. And Kaz goes through to the semi-finals. Well, that was exciting, wasn't it? Until I realised that Kaz had already won about five turns ago. <laughs> but at least Varga got off that Spectral Stinger. And, you know, they, they put up a good fight at the end. But, yeah, the winning streak ends at 6. As does their tournament. Right then, on to our final match of the quarter-final round. And the final match of this session. Okie dokie. In the red corner for Team Allo, we've got Allosaurus, Fragilus. Okay, an interesting field here. Team Allo will get terrain advantage with this Allosaurus, so they will get the first hit, which will be a rock hit. But this Allosaurus is blitz type as well, so it'll go for the two blitz crits after it gets his terrain hit. But Black. Black Beauty also gets terrain advantage, courtesy of the Ace Dino Tech doing third. Right, in the blue corner for Black Beauty, we've got... Super Eel Cockeria. Well, can Black Beauty make it 10 in a row? Which has never been done before. Well, in a single tournament anyway. Never been done. They'll set a new record with a victory here today. Right, first things first, Terrain Pet. Just once. Now for the Blitz crap. Ooh, but Black Beauty gets it, shuts that down in seconds. We are saying no to that nonsense. We saw the damage those two Blitz crits of the Allosaurus could do last time. Right, not twice. Blitz crit number two. 
No Blitz crit this time from Team Allo. Black Beauty having none of it. Okay, but Team Allo do get the next hit in the match. Attack a Jara dive. This is an even start so far. But it is awakening time. Okay, that's a tie, but Black Beauty won't mind that. Oh, that's another tie. That's not good for Team Allo because it does give Black Beauty a chance and an awakened hit on this Allosaurus Atrox. And it doesn't get terrain advantage because you only get terrain advantage once in the entire match. Right, coming in next for Team Allo, we've got Allosaurus Atrox. And you have to say, Team Allo could be in trouble here, especially if Black Beauty gets the awakened hit. Let's find out. Six. Oh yeah, so we'll just hit the button on seven. Damn it. <laughs> oh, the power drain! Massive hit from Black Beauty! We saw this in the match against Lad. They got the awakened hit on the Polar Canvas and did massive damage. And I think they, yeah, they one-shot the uh, Polar Canvas. Although I don't think this is going to be a one-shot on the Atrox, but it's still a massive hit. Look at that! That could be a big moment in this match. That's a tie. And well, all of a sudden, Black Beauty is 2-0 up. Well, that even start has dissipated, hasn't it? Right, coming in third for Team Allo, we've got Alpha Allosaurus. And all of a sudden now, things are looking bleak for Team Allo in this tournament. That awakened hit did massive damage. Okay, that's a tie. It's still not going to be enough to take out the Eocarp. But this hit will be, though. An attack boost coming in as well. Eocarp here, it does go down. Now, what's interesting here, it's coming in next for Black Beauty. We've got the Blitz-type Brachyceratops. It will go for the two Blitz hits. But it is. It does open the door for Team Arrow to get a crit off with that Alpha Allosaurus. So Black Beauty does have to be wary of that. Two crits could get Team Allo right back in this contest. Although, this Brachyceratops does have Dino Stuffer. So one of those crits would be nullified. Right, first things first. Crit number one. Oh, and they get it. No, they don't. Team Allo gets the Dino Stuffer off. Going to put a stop to that crit. That does mean... The Black Beauty can safely go for the crypt, knowing that they got the Dino Stuffer to protect them. Well, neither, neither team landing damage there. Okay, Team Allo getting another hit, and a tap boost going to max up as well. Good damage from Alphalosaurus. Can Team Allo get back in this match? Okay, there is a hit from the Brachyceratops and Anyangira dive. Team Allo can't afford to get hit too many times. And remember, Ace comes in with terrain advantage. Oh, that, is that going to do it for Black Beauty? Is that going to secure the win? I think it's going... Yeah, yeah, that's it. Game over for Team Allo. It doesn't matter now if they kill the Brachyceratops because Ace comes in with that terrain advantage. It's going to get a hit no matter what. And that hit is going to be lethal for this Alpha Allosaurus. I mean, at least they take out the Brachyceratops. But again, it doesn't matter because Ace comes in next with terrain advantage. And Black Beauty is going to make it 10 in a row. And they'll go through to the semi-final to play Maastricht. Yeah. I mean, we've got to play out the match anyway, just to, just for the lols. 
But we already know that Team Mallow is out and that Black Beauty has won. So let's just get it done. And yeah, there it is. Black Beauty gets it done. It's official. Ten in a row for Black Beauty. And Team Allo, well, they've had a very good tournament. Definitely for a debut. But they are bowing out at the quarters. And yeah, you have to say that big awakened hit definitely cost them. Right, we'll have a look at our semi-final lineups and we'll end the session. Well, that is our semi-final, ladies and gentlemen. So, so our first semi-final, it'll be our tournament host, Stranger Gamer going up against the newcomer Kaz, then it will be Maastrician going up against Black Beauty and in my honest opinion I feel like whoever wins this match is probably going to win the tournament but they do take into account that the semi-final and the final will be a best of three so that does change things slightly and it's that reason why I feel like the semi-final and the final could be wide open I mean anyone could win a straight one-on-one -on -one match but a best of three is a bit more challenging but yeah that's gonna end this session here so I hope you enjoyed and until the semi-final round ta-ta mm -hmm.